Baron Jean de Sely Longchamp was a man on a mission. Born in Brussels in Belgium in 1912, the Baron hailed from an old noble family and was serving in the Belgian cavalry when his country surrendered to the Germans in 1940. He managed to get to England after escaping from a prisoner of war camp in France. Determined to take the war back to the Germans, he volunteered for flight training with the Royal Air Force, lying about his age, as at 28 he was too old for pilot training. He joined No. 609 Squadron, which contained many Belgians and other foreigners serving in the RAF in September 1941. He was quickly marked out as an able and aggressive pilot. 609 flew the Hawker Typhoon, a single-seat fighter-bomber, a powerful and highly successful ground-attack aircraft armed with 20mm cannons and 303 machine guns. The Baron burned with a desire to strike the Germans in occupied Belgium, but his request to lead raids into his home nation were repeatedly turned down. Frustrated and hot-headed, he decided to go it alone and launch his own totally unauthorised attack on Brussels, selecting a very important target indeed. In 1940, the Germans had taken over a tall, distinctive building at number 453 Avenue Louise in Brussels for the headquarters of the SS Security Police, including the Gestapo office for the city. The Baron was very familiar with the Avenue Louise and the buildings used by the Germans. The roads were wide Paris-style boulevards, and the target building was much taller than those around it. He had good reason to hate the Gestapo. His father had died in their custody under extreme torture. On the 20th of January 1943, the Baron took off from RAF Manston in Kent with his wingman, Flight Sergeant Blanco, with orders to attack railway junctions in Belgium near the city of Ghent, a so-called rhubarb mission. Before departing from England, the Baron had armed his plane to its absolute limit and also carried a Union Jack and dozens of small Belgian flags that he intended to drop on his homeland during the attack. The Baron and Flight Sergeant Blanco shot up the railways near Ghent as ordered. The Baron then told Blanco to go home to England. He then set course by himself for Brussels. One single typhoon flashing across German-occupied Belgium to the capital, keeping as low as possible to avoid anti-aircraft fire and being tracked on German radar. Racing across Brussels at rooftop height, the Baron followed landmarks to the Avenue Louise. Blasting down the wide road, he lined up his sights on the tall target building, which flew a large swastika flag outside and depressed his gun button. Hundreds of cannon shells and machine gun bullets tore through the Gestapo headquarters building, peppering several floors before the typhoon roared overhead. The Baron dropped flags as he went, including onto the Royal Palace. At Gestapo headquarters, pandemonium reigned. The chief of the SS Security Service, SS Sturmbannführer Alfred Thomas, was killed, along with SS Obersturmführer Werner Vogt of the Zippo, the SS Security Police. At least four other SS soldiers died during the attack. The Baron, elated that he had taken revenge for the death of his father, flew home to an icy reception from RAF superior officers. He was demoted for disobeying orders, but then strangely awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for his service, including the Gestapo headquarters attack. Unfortunately, Baron de Sely Longchamp was killed at Manston when he crashed returning from a mission on the 16th of August 1943. A statue of him stands today outside number 453 Avenue Louise in Brussels, in tribute to his extraordinary solo raid. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Also help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. 
details in the description box. Thank you.